Achilles heel of the biosphere, the ozone layer is expected to recover to its pre-1980 levels by 2050 to 2075. Ozone is a molecule containing three oxygen atoms. It plays a key role in absorbing and therefore preventing much of the sun's radiation from reaching Earth. Without it, there'd be no plants, no animals, none of us would be here. This natural defence system, found some 15 kilometres up in the stratosphere, comes under seasonal attack in both polar regions. This is partly due to the lingering presence of man-made chlorine-based compounds once widely used in refrigerants and consumer aerosols. But most damage is caused by very cold weather, when water vapour and nitric acid molecules condense into clouds in the lower stratosphere. These clouds in turn become a bed where chlorine molecules gobble up ozone. Since the 1960s, the ozone layer over Antarctica has shrunk by nearly 70%, the hole measuring more than 25 million square kilometres in 2011. Traditionally, the layer would thin out from spring until December, but this cycle now continues throughout the southern hemisphere's summer into February. Human activity is responsible for three quarters of the harmful gases currently destroying the ozone. Nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas emitted by many industries, is now the biggest threat. But nature also plays its part. Nitrous oxide is also produced and released by soil and marine bacteria found living off tropical islands, salt marshes and peat bogs.